What's up guys? We're gonna do some more battles. But uh we are going to do a double battle and I'm gonna troll with Parasong as much as I can. Because I'm in a mischievous mood. So let's see. This is our team. And let's, let's see, uh hmm. Nothing too worrisome, except for that fire ghost type over there. Let's see. Well, might as well choose Lapras Frostlass, Gothic Tug for Shadow Tag, and Jinx for the second pair of songs. Alright, now the question is Now I got an Aurora Veil combo with Uh, Frostlass and uh, Lapras there. Well, let's see, that's a very basic trainer card. So now the question is, what's going to be the first initial matchup? Since that's going to be... Oh, I do like his outfit though, that's nice. Corvide and Amoongus. Alright, alright, I can make do with that. Alright, let's see here. Well, first let's get Parasong going, and let's get Kel going. Then I'll do some chip damage on both of them while I'm setting up. Now, I've got a Focus Sash on Frostlass, so it should be able to survive any... It should be able to survive any hit that Corviknight gives it. Question is, what is the Moongus going to do? Is he going to status me? Because that's going to mess me up a bit. Alright. Okay. Let's see. Frostlass is the fastest so far. And this will get rid of any... Yeah, he's going to do Iron Head on Frostlass. Okay. Alright. I am very surprised that did not activate the Focus Sash. But okay. Just means that uh, Corvide is not that good of a physical attacker. That's oh, it's using Spore. Immediately put me to sleep. Alright, well in that case... Let's go ahead and do Protect so I can get that first turn of sleep out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and do Aurora Veil so I can take off 50% damage from both physical and special attacks. And after that, we yeah, have no idea. Because Amoongus is probably just going to spore both Lapras and... Cross last, so I need to make sure, and I need to swap out eventually. So I need to make sure that they both have a full turn of sleep on the field. That way, the can the uh, sleep counter can continue to go up when they're not on the field. So there we go, War of Veil. Oh, that's just lucky. I can uh, get some more chip damage with Hail. Amoongus is just going to spore all the way. We're at two. Alright, well, I do not want them to escape at all, so let's switch to Gothitelle. Frostlass is going to... Uh, I mean, I'll protect, but I'm not going to wake up, and he's just going to... What? What? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Did... I didn't even get started! With all the Parish Song shenanigans that I wanted to do. Well, that was, uh, quicker than I thought it would be. 
Ha. Huh. Okay, well, uh, I will see you all in the next battle in just a few seconds. Alrighty, guys. We're back. Um, let's continue with our shenanigans of Parasong. And I gain points. Uh, let's see. Hopefully we can find someone relatively soon. But uh, yeah, that, that was... I, I honestly did not see that coming. You just... Quit the match, which I, I've never had. I, I don't think I've ever had that happen before. They quit the match when it's only like the first couple of turns. But in any case, uh, let's see, Urshifu. I don't know what Urshifu that is, but it doesn't matter because both of them are going to screw over Lapras and Frostlass. Let's see. Hmm. Let's hope for the best, and let's see. That, uh, that Cinderace is going to be some problems. Might be best if I put in Sylveon instead of Jinx. Let's go ahead and do that. That is a pretty cool uh, trainer card, I won't lie. That is pretty cool. Okay, we got Lucario and Alakazam. Alright, alright. That Lucario is going to not do well for us, anyway. Let's go Parasong and Hail. Because unless they both attack Frostlass, it's going to survive this turn. Dynamaxing right off the bat? Okay, I don't... That doesn't normally happen. So what is he going to do? Okay, he's going to go with Lucario's Dynamax. Alright. Again, who are you going to target? Now, Alexam is very frail, so... Max Knuckle. He's going to have to target Lapras with that. And Citrus Berry. And Psychic on Frostlass. Okay. Interesting. That's uh, not as big as a hit. About not as big as a hit I thought it would be, but still a pretty big hit. Okay. So obviously I'm going to substitute with Frostlass. I'm going to Aurora Veil with Frost. Not Frostlass, I'm going to substitute with Lapras, Aurora Veil with Frostlass. That's going to half all damage. Oh boy. I like this Frostlass. How did that not KO Frost? Oh, the uh, oh yeah, the Aurora Veil. My bad, I already forgot about it. <laughs> okay, we're at two, so well, if I I don't want to get him a free hit or anything, so let's go ahead and just protect. See, protect and 
say that, I like to say I'm gonna hit the cross last, so. I might as well do a Destiny Bond. Oh wow, he already withdrew Lucario. I'm amazed. Okay, well. You are kidding me. Wow. I am honestly amazed that his attack missed. Okay, well. Now that I know that, I actually need Lapras to survive. So, let's go ahead and get Sylveon out here and ask for Frostlass. Oh, it wouldn't matter with Urshifu. So, let's see. I guess I can try and do another Destiny Bond and just hope that it doesn't fail. It did. Oh well. That is... Why would you do that? Why would you not use that on... Okay, then. Oh, leftovers. Okay, that I know what he has now. He probably he'll probably swap back into Lucario. Which case... Let's bring Lapras out here. He'll probably focus on Lapras because he doesn't want another Parasong debacle. Okay, so... Honestly, let's see. Hyper voice. And let's go ahead and pair song. Just in case for some how or another Lapras survives, which it's Okay, well Wow. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, that is great. That is fantastic. Oh man, this is about taking a lot of twists and turns. Okay, well, let's see here. I could try to do another hyper voice. I could Dynamax and do a max strike on the Urshifu. I'd rather save that for Gothitelle. Let's 
Go ahead and protect with Lapras. All right. Yep, there goes Sylveon. And protect. And there I went to Roar Vale. That's not good. Okay, let's see. Let's do a Cosmic Power and Lapras. Well, I guess you can try to attract, attract Cinderace, but... I doubt that's going to happen. But, you know, what we really need to do is get rid. Let's go ahead and max Mindstorm, the Earth crew. And... Let's attract the Cinderace. Oh boy. Because even if I max guard, it's surging strikes is just gonna go through my protect in max guard, so. Okay, and we'll get the third one. Okay, there we go. It finally hit Lapras there. Honestly, I have no idea why targeted Lapras wouldn't be better for him to take the health down off my golf to tell, but whatever. In any case, let's set the psychic terrain that gets rid of any and all priority. And now it's going to come down to Gothitelle and Lucario. Let's go ahead and max guard. That takes care of Cinderace. He's got a Meteor Mash. That's going to be troublesome. And there goes Cinderace, now it's just Gothitelle and Lucario. Let's go ahead and do a Max Mindstorm. Do, a, do as much damage as I can before I exit Dynamax. Hopefully that doesn't raise his stats. Like, really? Come on. Wow. I am really amazed. I guess. Well, if he had a focus sash on, Hale would have gotten rid of that focus sash. And I guess he's just really. I guess he did not put any into the defense of Lucario. So that was a really frail Lucario to get taken out by that. But hey, that's happened sometimes. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and check that out. Oh, Rocky Helmet. Wow. Ho ho. It's a justified Lucario. Interesting. But, wow, it's, spe it's special defense. It's like, man. It's really, fr that one's really frail. No wonder. Well, in any case, that's going to be it for this battle. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that sub button if you're not subscribed to the channel already. To keep up to date with all my videos, be sure to click that notification bell. 
And if you and if you enjoyed the video or the battle and all the twists and turns it took, don't forget to hit that like button. Let's me know that you like the battle, and it's I very much appreciate it, and so does YouTube. Anyway, comment down below how you're enjoying the new season, and uh, if you're going to enter the uh, Dragon King competition that's uh, currently in the sign-up period. In any case, that's going to be all for this video. I'm the Gaming You, and I'll see you in the next one.